This conference will now be recorded. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Tiffany Tatsumi, Academic Administrator for the Society of Actuaries. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy wherever you are. We're in a confusing and strange time right now because of COVID-19, and I hope that by hosting these videos, we can keep you informed and supported while you continue on the path to becoming an actuary. Joining me today is my colleague, Brenda Sawyer, Education Coordinator for the SOA. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Tiffany. Thanks for including me in this update. And Brenda, why don't you explain a little bit about what you do at the SOA? Sure. So I work for a variety of different education programs, including the Associateship Professionalism courses. I assist with a few of the ASA exams and I work with uh, various university related programs as well. So I get to work with a lot of our volunteers and candidates from around the country and around the world. Yeah, and just so our viewers know, my role at the SOA also involves university related initiatives. I provide support for university recognition programs, CAE and UCAP, Pickman Scholar, doctoral stipend, university outreach, and various benefits and communications for academics. Like you, I also work with volunteers that help to support these programs. So Brenda, we just did a video on the postponed exam update. Is there anything new that candidates and students should know about this week? Yes, we just sent out updated information about VEE or Validation by Educational Experience. Many universities are choosing a pass-fail score for their spring semester courses and they've indicated that a passing score for those courses would be a C or above. So because of that, we are temporarily accepting a pass-slash-satisfactory mark or a grade of C or better on transcripts for the spring and summer 2020 semesters only. Usually our VEE policy accepts a passing score on a pass-fail course only if the candidate's professor can provide a letter that a B minus or better was earned, but we won't require that letter for the spring and summer 2020 courses. That is great news. I know we've been getting a lot of questions about VEE lately because of the shift to virtual classes at universities. Another question that we've been getting lately is if the May and June exams are going to be postponed. Exam P, probability, and exam FM, financial mathematics, are scheduled on a rotating basis, and exam P is coming up in May. I've heard that the exam may go on a schedule depending on the location of the candidates. Yes, our partner for computer-based testing exams is Prometric. They are hoping to reopen some centers on May 1st, but that really will depend on the local, state, and province rules. There's also a predictive analytics exam, or PA, and a short-term actuarial mathematics exam, or what we call STAM. Uh, those are scheduled for June, and both of those are still slated to go on as planned for now. Okay, yeah, things are changing so fast with the virus, so we're trying to stay flexible. Exams might be canceled or postponed, but if that happens, we'll try to give candidates as much notice as possible. Now, Tiffany, I have a question for you. Um, is the computer-based testing schedule changing if STAM or the PA exam are canceled? No, unfortunately, if the STAM or PA exam is canceled, you'll have to wait until the next window to register. But if that happens, everyone would get a refund. So Brenda, are there any other updates candidates should know about? Yes, I do want to mention that we are hosting a live candidate town hall on May 8th at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central. Our education senior staff fellow, Stuart Klugman, will be discussing more updates and changes on the exams. Attendees will be able to ask Stuart questions in advance by emailing candidate at soa.org or they can do it live during the event. You can register to attend at our candidate website or by checking out our SOA Facebook event page. Great. Thanks so much, Brenda. And thanks to everyone who viewed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates as we will be posting regularly. And if you have any questions, please connect with us on social media or email our customer service department at customerservice at soa.org. I'll see you all again soon. Stay safe.